Hello. So I've been learning how to code one Google search at a time, and I'm not even kidding, but I think you're going to like this. So basically, I made an add-on where you select a curve, and then you press a button, and it will apply kitbash to that curve. And we can do things like scale it, and apply a subdivision, and there we go. And of course, it's still bound to the curve, so if I change it, if I move the curve points, it will stay bound to it. So it adapts, and that's pretty neat. But that's not the best part, there's more. This is my favorite feature of this add-on. You can scroll through different presets with your mouse wheel. And this is so much fun, you don't even know. I love doing this all day. And I don't have that many presets right now. Most of these are just for testing. But if you have any ideas for some, I'd be grateful. Anyway, we already saw that we can scale, but we can also rotate. And my favorite, twist. So we can twist this end, then we can twist that end. And next time we run the add-on, it's going to remember all of the settings. Or we can reset them if we want. And kitbash mode is just one of the modes included in this add-on. And it's used for, well, you can use it for more than just cables. You can use it for any sort of mesh you might want to deform with a curve. So, um, I don't know, a muscle comes to mind. Because you can just model that, apply it to the curve, and then just adjust it like this. Alt S. So it's going to be pretty useful for a lot of things. But let's talk about the other modes. So we also have endless mode. And this one has pretty terrible presets. Like I said, most of these are just for testing. But the idea behind endless mode is that it adapts to the length of the curve. So if I pull on this curve point, notice how it's not really stretching. It, more elements just keep popping in. So it's using the array modifier for that. And that can be really useful for something like chains or um, ammo belts or whatever they're called. You know, if you're modeling a mech or something and you just put on a curve, apply the ammo belt, and there you go. So you'll be able to make your own kit bash and your own presets. And that's also very, very useful, I think. And that's endless mode. But we also have simple mode. And this one just uses a curve profile. So it uses one curve and then applies it as a profile to the main curve. And some of these are pretty simple, but the idea behind these is that even though they don't have that much detail, they're very, very easy to adjust. So I can go into edit mode and select this circle, for instance, and then just make it smaller. And you'll notice how this curve adjusted. So they're very easy to make these, even if they're not that useful. But I really need some ideas for presets. This one's not that bad, you know, like a bundle of wires. And um, those are terrible. This one's OK. You can twist this one. My favorite, though, is this one. So I'm going to reset. Here it is, this one. Because if we twist it, we can do this, and then twist the other end and then increase the resolution a bit. So not all of the hotkeys you can press are displayed yet. I'm still working on the basic functions. And there we go, we have rope. And we can just apply this to as many curves as we want. So right now, I have to do it one at a time because I'm still working on the core functionality. But the idea is that you'll be able to select multiple curves and apply a preset to all of them uh, at the same time. And yeah, if you're interested in an add-on like this, then definitely follow me on Gumroad because that's where this is going to go up first. And I think I already said it, but you'll be able to create your own meshes and presets. And just, just scrolling through all of them is so much fun. Anyway, thanks for watching.